What's up, fight fans? MMA professor. Let's do a UFC 106 review, shall we? Now, as I'm talking to you, as I'm talking to my camera, I'm going through some of these fights for the first time because I worked late, and let me just say, first of all, um, I wanted to go to, there was a meet, a grappling tournament, around Wisconsin somewhere, um, and what, what it was was a grappling tournament in a cage, so getting fighters used to, you know, going in the cage, and of course, Rufus Sport, a lot of the fighters kicked ass, as I knew they would, um, I will be back at the gym on Monday, I was resting a strained, uh, ligament in my elbow from getting kamurid to shit, um, it's all fine now. I will be back at the gym on Monday. Uh, congratulations to my friend Tony, who beat a two-stripe purple belt. Uh, and Tony is, he came out to, um, I believe he said, because uh, they did introductions like they did do an MMA. He came out to, he's a two-stripe white belt. But Tony is awesome at grappling, and uh, so congratulations to everybody. Okay, so George Sideropoulos, Jason Den, Sideropoulos controlled the stand-up. He took him down, controlled the top game. Jason Den did all but survive in this one. He taps him with um, awesome. Like, he, he, he was in mount and got the armbar. Pretty sweet. Um, let's see, Carl Uno against Fabricio Camoys. Draw! Draw? Oh, man. UFC judges don't score draws. 29-27 and then 28-28. Uh, I suppose. Draw. I knew that would be a close fight, but anyways. Brock Larson. Larson loses again? Dude, Larson. What the fuck, man? You were like a 9-1 favorite in that one. A lot of people lost on that one. That sucks. Larson. Wow. Grove against Rochelle. Rochelle, I thought he would take him down, control him like uh, Almeida did. But, you know, he gets, you know, sloppy, gets uh, gets his left arm pinned. Um, I don't know what, uh, it almost seems like Grove was going for an arm bar, but he was on the wrong side. Controlled his, his right arm, but... Maybe he was going for an Uma Plata and Rochelle stood up, but anyways, he sinks the triangle in and Rochelle tapped instantly. It's like, oh, well, the sub's in? Yeah, I'm done. So anyways, Marcus Davis, Ben Saunders. Davis is done being um, a gatekeeper. <laughs> I mean, he's not even gatekeeper material anymore because Ben Saunders, he worked him in the clinch. You know, like Dan Hardy did against uh, Davis, he landed a pretty good knee in the clinch. Davis, or Saunders landed many of those. He controlled the clinch. Davis, for some reason, seemed content with clinching him against the cage. Saunders is taller than you. He's longer reach than you. You don't clinch with him. Don't clinch with him. Davis loses. He, get, he got rocked. I'm surprised he took the first knee, but he took a second one. Amir Sadala, Phil Baroni, bloodbath. Banging, you know, dude. 30-26, maybe. It got scored. <laughs> 30-25, a couple people scored it. But, yeah, 30-27, uh, whatever. Uh, he destroyed Baroni. He just worked him on the feet. Just leg kicks, knees in the clinch, punches. It, it, I mean, the only thing saving uh, Baroni in this one was his chin. Because he got worked over. Ogerio Noguera against Luis Kane. Wow. Wow, I wasn't, I was expecting a very close fight, and Hojerio came out, I guess he saw something, uh, I knew Hojerio was, had the better hands, he was the better technical boxer, but he saw Kane dropped his right hand a lot, he threw a lot of left hooks, and he's got some power, and uh, he dropped him, and finished him <laughs> in the first round. Jacob Volkman against uh, Volkman against uh, Tiago uh, Paulo Tiago. Uh, Volkman impressed me. Tiago took him down in the first a uh, couple times. He's working some ground and pound. You got a black belt uh, as good as Tiago is on top of you. 
Volkman was very good with his hips, escaped a lot, moved to half guard, and swept him a couple times. You know, Tiago, I would probably give it 29-28. I scored it. Um, but Volkman, you know, he got dropped a couple times, came back. He's got a very good chin, great cardio. Tiago seemed like he was getting tired there. Um, you know, if his grappling gets better, because he gave up a couple positions there where he had dominant position on uh, on Tiago. Uh, one that impressed me was uh, when Tiago had him in, in uh, side control and he cinched up a Darce or an Anaconda from the bottom. That was nice. And used it as a sweep. Man, Koshek against Anthony Johnson. Wow. Um, I think Koshek won the first, controlled it with his wrestling. This was a lot of eye pokes, low blows, uh... Johnson landed a knee when Koshik was on both his knees on the ground. Weird fight, but you know Koshik. That's why I, I said in my in my preview video I picked Johnson, but that's only because Koshik's propensity to stand. But he used his wrestling and he took him down consistently and he tired him out, and uh, he stood with him and he landed a couple good shots. So you know Koshik proved. He came out, he had something to prove, and he came out and he proved that he's still one of the top contenders at 170, and this is my problem with Dan Hardy getting a title shot. Fuck Dan Hardy for getting a title shot. You know, I don't care if he wins the belt. If he wins the belt, fine. I mean, it still doesn't change the fact that he doesn't deserve a title shot. Anthony Johnson, Josh Koscheck, listen... There's so many guys at the top of the division. I know you don't have to beat everybody to get a title shot, but seriously... You beat Swick, you get a title shot. I mean, you need to beat Tiago Alves. You need to beat Johnson, Koscheck, Fitch, somebody up there to get a title shot. And it's bullshit that Dan Hardy's getting a title shot. Okay, anyways, Koscheck, I'm going off on a tangent now, but Koscheck, he looked impressive. Sinks in the rear naked choke. Man, Johnson was done. Done. <laughs> done. He was ready to tap. Tito Ortiz, Forrest Griffin. Man, this is a fight card. This was a fight card. Those of you pissed at me that I didn't do a UFC 105 review because it, I said it wasn't worth it. Um, this is a fight card. This is a fight card right here. <laughs> this is awesome fights. Very well put together fights. Tough to pick fights. Very back and forth. You got a draw on this card that was probably pretty exciting. You got split decisions. Man, I I was Ortiz. You know he tried to get the takedowns, uh, work some ground and pound. Griffin, the first takedown got up pretty quick. I scored the first round. Griffin, very good punches. Uh, Ortiz took him down in the second. Worked it for longer. Probably the second Ortiz. And the third round, Griffin, by far. I mean, Ortiz was tired as shit after the second round. This is what I thought Griffin needed to do in the first. Uh, you know, work his combinations, work his leg kicks. He pushed the pace in the third. I think the, th the third is definitely what, you know, stuck in the judges' minds. You know, because he worked him in the third. Just absolutely teed off on him. And, you know, this is what he needed to do the whole time. Like I said, if he worked a rampage, uh, you know, fight strategy and work leg kicks and, you know, Ortiz, his left leg was messed up. You knew it was. Griffin kicks hard. His punches, not so much. But the third round is what I thought he needed to do the whole time. But, you know, working the kicks, he was tired. He was uh, worried about getting taken down. Griffin wins a split decision. I saw 29-28 Griffin. Not very, um, I mean... I don't know what this proves. Ortiz is still at the top, or Griffin is still at the top. I, I don't know. I don't know what to take out of this fight. Um, you know, good thing I switched my pick to Griffin at the last second. Um, doesn't matter how I did on the card, because uh, it was awesome. And the card was awesome. Uh, when he got red there, betting money back and forth against everybody at the gym, like, I'll bet you $5, and... You know, I'll bet you four dollars. How much you got in your wallet? Four dollars. I'll bet you four dollars. <clears throat> yeah, awesome. Um, this was a card. This was a great card, actually. 
very entertaining. Very entertaining. Awesome card. Good day. Thought I'd get this out here before I have to work all day tomorrow. And then I wouldn't get out another review. Or a review until Monday. And Monday is when I go back to the gym. Because I'm tired of sitting on my ass. So there you go. There you go. There's my 106 review. You want a 105 review? 105's not worth it. Sorry, English fans. Uh, you think what you want, but that card was not good. It was not good. Just because English fighters win doesn't mean it's a good card, okay? It's a good card when it's a good card. When there's great fights. This was a... This was a card right here. I'm done saying it's a great card. So you guys stay metal. Later.